What is the difference between those who are King James only versus those who use the new versions? We're going to keep this very simple and to the point. Those of us that believe the King James Bible, um, we want to increase your faith in one book. Those who use the new versions want to teach you that there is no such thing as any book on this earth that's perfect and can be rightly called God's Word that doesn't need to be updated or changed. Um, that's the difference. So, King James Bible believers like myself, we want to increase your faith in God's Word. The new versionists want to decrease your faith. They want to destroy your faith. Um, and I was raised in the new version camp. I was a modern professing Christian for many years. And uh, so don't tell me anything about, oh, you're just raised in a King James only cult. No, I wasn't. And uh, I have actually need to be a little bit more accurate too. I'm not actually King James only. I'm a King James Bible believer. I have many different versions in my collection. I'm not afraid of them, uh, not by any means. And uh, I have actually, I preached a whole sermon on uh, 13 reasons why every Catholic should reject the Mass, I think, or Christian or something, should reject the Mass. And I used a Dewey Reams Bible. I did not use the King James Bible, showing the Catholics that even their own most sacred translation still goes against the Mass and the whole concept of the Mass. Um, so I believe that the King James Bible is God's perfect word in the English language. And if you watch my videos, that's how I preach. That's how I teach. Um, I want you to have faith, inspire faith in you, that you can use a King James Bible and not have to think about it having errors or not leading you into all truth. Um, I've lived by the King James Bible for a long time now, and I'm not ever going to go back to the new versions that I was raised with. Um, and the new version people, all that they can offer you is contradicting Greek texts and translations, and, and only the original autographs were inspired, which is a problem because there was never a book on this earth that contained all of the original autographs. So that's where they have to eventually get to, that only the original autographs were inspired, well, if that's true, then no Bible, perfect Bible, ever existed. That's something to really think about there. Um, that's why I recommend you stay away from these new version people. If you're going to a church that has new versions, I'd get out of there. Uh, you want to use the King James Bible, the most uh, time-honored, most blessed of God, most powerful book that ever showed up on this earth. Okay, so that is going to be it. Please look into the subject. I'll leave some video links here at the end, like this. I'll leave some links here, and you can watch these videos to learn more about the Bible version issue.